Uh, my name is Nathan Zamoran. I'm the Community Arts Manager with LexArts here in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, we are here in Arts Place Gallery where we have an exhibit by Nori Hall, an outcome of the 2011 EcoArt Grant Program. The EcoArt uh, project it was started by the Department of Environmental Quality and Public Works uh, of the LFUCG as a way to educate the public about different environmental issues. And for the past three years, we have done an array of different projects, funding artists to uh, help experiment and get the word out about various environmental topics. Um, this exhibition uh, photographs uh, artwork uh, that are in public spaces. These are uh, na natural spaces here in Fayette County uh, that Nori has taken some wonderful photographs of, and she'll be able to talk a little bit about that. I got involved with all making this series of photographs as a result of an email I got from Nathan concerning the Echo Arts Grant program last summer. Um, it, it gave me the impetus for proposing to do the, the work that I've done. It's all s set in Fayette County, green spaces, um, and it gave me a chance to explore and to document and to try things I, I wouldn't have had a chance to do otherwise. So it's, it's been great. Um, this is a, a scene right across from Raven Run. This also is a pathway I've, I've walked many times in Raven Run. This is an outlook over by the Clay Ferry Bridge. And if you remember, one day last winter we had snow for 24 hours, and, and several of the pictures here were taken that day. This is the Arboretum, McConnell Springs, the bur oak tree there. And here's the pond taken in the fall. I was able to find things that were beautiful everywhere I went, sometimes much to my surprise, so I, it was great. The Kentucky River. I probably shot a, over 20 rolls of film, so that would have been over 200 pictures, 250 pictures, say. And then, and then I just explored the negatives as, as I could. I, I shoot with a medium format camera, and I scan my negatives. It's black and white film. And then I work with my computer, with Photoshop, colorizing the pictures and printing. So I think the, the most important thing for people who are, have an interest in photography is to go out and make photographs. Just go out and shoot as often as, as they can. I've gone through times when I've actually made myself photograph something every day. And it's, it's amazing what you can find around, around the house, in the backyard, in the neighborhood, people you love, strangers. There's a lot you can do. Um, I'd also like to announce that uh, the 2012 EcoArt grant program is now being, uh, applications are now being posted. Those are available at lexarts.org. That's L-E-X-A-R-T-S dot O-R-G. And you can find more information about uh, how to apply. Uh, this, these grants are available up to $5,000 for individual artists or nonprofit groups or schools to, again, uh, build uh, programs that educate the public utilizing artwork in different ways. Um, there's several different topics that can be focused on. And artist fees this year have been increased. Uh, you can actually apply for up to 30% of the grant can go towards an artist fee. Um, and again, more information can be found at the Department of Environmental Quality and Public Works website, as well as LexArts.org. LexArts was really pleased uh, to partner with the Department of Environmental Quality and Public Works um, a few years ago to explore how we might get artists involved in this conversation about our environment and the ecology of the bluegrass. And this is a, it's a great partnership because what you see here with this exhibition is an artist who is making us look at our landscape differently and is, is taking places that we've all been to and, and reframing it in a way that only an artist's eye could see that helps us see things differently. And I think that's the whole point of these grants is that 
through all these projects, uh, starting with Norris and, and many others that have been doing this for the past few years, they're helping us look at our environment differently and seeing how beautiful it is and what we need to do, or inspiring us, I should say, to help protect that environment. Artists like Nori, who's obviously an incredible professional photographer, but we also have other artists um, who work in many different media and are um, you know, working with school kids on creating um, water gardens. Um, you know, so, there's, so there's many different ways in which a creative person can partner with um, the Department of Environmental Quality to create eco-art projects that can touch the lives of many people. So from a professional artist to an amateur artist who has something to offer, um, um, you know, all are welcome to do that. Yeah, and we'd like to invite everyone to come to Arts Place, which is at Church and Mill Street in downtown, to view this exhibit as well as the artwork of many other local and Kentucky artists.